Makeup Geeks, welcome to another hot new products. I don't know why it's been the longest month ever. I feel like I have not taped this in forever. So excuse me if I have lots of blunders today. Um, but for those of you who are new to my channel, every month I round up what's hot and what's new in the beauty market so that way you guys can um, see what's worth checking out when you go shopping. Do you like how I'm a total enabler? I'm totally feeding your makeup addiction right now. But I have some cool things to show you guys for this month. Um, so let's start first. I don't think this is brand brand new, but it's new to um, Ulta is where I got it. And a lot of you guys haven't really been talking about this, so that's why I wanted to point it out. But there's a brand called Makeup Revolution. It's from London. And I got a few products from their line. First off is their blushes. I picked those up at Ulta. These are $5 ridiculously cheap for the um, amount of blush that you get because here's the size of my hand here's the product right here they're actually not bad they're pretty smooth feeling which is really really nice um, the colors are beautiful I think these are definitely worth checking out especially for five dollars you can't beat that I actually even like the packaging too even though it's plastic it has the clear lid so you could see the colors inside it is pretty large I wouldn't travel with these just because they do take up a lot of room I mean this is like a compact size like a face compact that's how much blush is in here this will last you forever this color right here is fusion and it's a beautiful corally pink color I love that one I got a few of them this one is so pretty this is a true coral color this is beloved and I'll do swatch for that it's a bright kind of coral color this would be great for medium to dark skin they're really smooth they're really pigmented the only thing that I didn't like with them is the first ingredient is talc and it has mineral oil in there which mineral oil isn't bad for you but it does cause some people to break out from that um, so it's up to you guys if you want to have something that has mineral oil in there as well as talc so if you have sensitive skin I don't think these would be good for those who have skin sensitivities but if you don't and you can wear pretty much anything these are worth checking out so that was fusion and what was the other color beloved the last color I got is nude and this one is a pale pink color this would be great for fair to medium skin beautiful finish to this I like that one a lot so really nice blushes there and then they have these um, lip products they have um, it's called salvation intense lacquer and they have velvet lacquer yes velvet lacquer and intense lacquer they come in the tubes like this. What did I pay for these? $4.99, so $5. They're kind of remind me of the NYX brand, NYX. Um, the ounce on here is 0 0.06 fluid ounce. It comes in a lip gloss tube like this with a cap. It has a nice gold printing. It's very classy for $5. It doesn't look like a $5 product. It looks like a high-end product. It has the traditional doe fit wand on there. Now, I will say the formula of this I did not like. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of vanilla-y, but it slips around a lot. So it's almost like a really thin um, liquid lipstick. It's not a lip gloss, even though it is shiny, because it's not sticky at all. You guys know me, I don't like sticky lip glosses, but this one is so slippery and thin that it slides all over the place. But let me show you guys. And the pigmentation isn't bad, but it's not amazing. It's a little bit more sheer. But do you see how it has just a slight shine? It's almost like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick, but it's a little bit more sheer. So it's not bad. I'm not a huge fan of the formula. I think the packaging is amazing. The price you can't beat. I just feel like it should have either been more pigmented and it should have been, if it was a gloss, be just teeny bit tacky not much so it stays on and it doesn't slip all around the lips because the lighter colors would do well but when I did this lar um, larger darker color this one here I'm not putting it on because when I wore it the other day it slipped all outside of my lip line I took one drink from a cup and it was all above my upper lip so I didn't like the formula on it but they do have some pretty colors and it is inexpensive so maybe it's worth you guys checking out okay Next we have Lorac came out with a Pro Contour Palette. You guys know they have their Pro Eyeshadow Palettes, which are freaking amazing. If you don't have them, you should try them. The texture is amazing. This palette has six powders in there. It has two non-shimmer highlights and a shimmer highlight. And then it has three contours down here, light, medium, and dark. The colors on here are amazing. Let me show you guys, they're not too warm. They're just the right amount of cool, too. They're not super gray. They're not super orange. They're right down the middle. They're neutral. So the colors are fabulous. The texture is really, really smooth. It's um, not gritty. It's not chalky. It's a very finely milled powder. The shimmer highlight is okay. It would work for fair skin. It's not going to work for anyone outside of that because it's very pigmented. 
Do you guys see how white that is? So if you have medium skin, it's gonna look ashy. So if you have fair skin, this would work really well. But outside of that, I don't think a lot of people could wear that. Um, as well as the beige and the yellow highlight, I would have liked them to see a little bit darker color so the dark skin and medium skin girls have something to highlight with because I feel like this top row is just for fair skin. That's the only complaint I have out on this palette, but outside of that, amazing you guys should definitely check it out i paid um 45 dollars for this so considering you get six pretty good size um powders in there i think that's a really fair price it has the black soft touch finish which is really nice very sleek and it's a thin palette so it's easy to travel with so 45 dollars six colors sephora i got that there okay Next is my girl Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. <laughs> she came out with her collaboration with Becca Cosmetics for a highlighter. Girl, you did a great job on this highlighter. This is so beautiful. Becca has amazing highlighters. I use theirs all the time. I have every color they make. I've hit pan on at least one of them. They're a gorgeous formula. Really nice job. I love the packaging. It's just like their other highlighters. It has the metal top and it's a sleek case like this. Soft touch bottom so it's very elegant. The price for this is $38 and it's a peachy color. What's really cool about this is fair skin can wear it. It will add just a little bit of color to your skin, but medium and dark skin can wear it as well. It's one of those universal shades. Everyone can wear this because it's not too light or ashy. It's not too cool, not super warm. It's right down the middle. Great job, Jacqueline, with the color. You did a kick-ass job with that. So you go, girl. $38. I love that one a lot. Okay, next are by Milani. Milani came out with, and may I point out, you guys always complain, I don't put drugstore products in here. Half of the stuff I have to show you is from the drugstore. Thank you very much, Two two. <laughs> Milani came out with Amore Matte Lip Creams. They are amazing, let me show you guys. So I've been wearing this earlier today and it's like a mixture between a liquid lipstick and a lip stain. It's a very thin consistency formula so when you go to apply it, um, let me show you guys. At the end of this video I'm going to have at least 10 products on my lip just so you know. Okay, so this first color here is Adore and it's a nice kind of warm pale pink color. It has a flat doe foot wand, let me show you guys, so it's easy to apply but when you put it on, it's super pigmented and it takes a while to dry. It's gonna take about 30 to 60 seconds. So almost a minute before it fully dries. So at first you're like, oh, okay, this is just a liquid lipstick when you put it on. But after a minute, it soaks in and it dries up and it's a lip stain. And it does have a nice um, satiny matte finish formula, so it's amazing. And for how much did I pay for these? These are $6.99, so for $7 with the amount that you get, it's a, uh, 0.21 ounces, that's really good. And I love the packaging too, it's very sleek, it has the gold cap, it's easy to twist, it's classy. They did a really great job with these. These I definitely think you should check out. I got them at Walgreens and I think they were buy one, get one half off right now. The other colors that I bought, this one is, what is this, Crush, which is a plummy red color. That would be great for fall. The other one that's great for fall is um, Embrace. Oh my gosh, this one's beautiful. It's like a purpley violet color, so pretty. And this one is very trendy for, um, did I show you guys this one? Beloved, did I show you that? Yeah, I think I did. Is that all the colors? Wait, hold on, hold on. Crush, yeah, I showed you all the colors. So these are the ones I have, they're beautiful. I think they have eight colors, so you guys should check those out, okay. The other um, drugstore product that I got was by CoverGirl. This is the Color CoverGirl Lip Lava. These are sparkly, shimmery lip glosses. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's gonna be a new trend is the glittery lips, because we've done you know the shimmery eyes for a while, we've done the matte lip. I think for next year, we're gonna see a lot of glittery stuff coming out, which I'm kind of excited about, because I love glitter, because I'm very girly girl like that. <laughs> the lip lavas were $6. I got those at Walgreens at the same time too. This color here, which one is this? It's the only thing I don't like, they, they don't make it obvious what colors they are. I don't know, it's this pink one here. Let me get it close up. So let me show you guys the texture. It's a lip gloss, and this one's pretty pigmented. Do you see that? You see how it has glitter chunks in there? It's really pretty, and it's a little tacky, but not bad. It's not overly tacky. So the formula actually is pretty good, and I love the color selection they had. So that was the pink one. They have this really fun, look at this purple one. Bam, isn't that fun? I am gonna do a look using this pretty soon, so stay tuned. 
Do you guys like my makeup I have on today? I am wearing the Duo Pro My Makeup Geek called Prism. We launch them next month. I'm really excited to show it to you. Okay, so there's the purple lip gloss with some glitter in that. It reminds me of Max Dazzle glasses, but these are less than half the price, $6. Can't beat that, really good price. Okay, hold on, let me grab my Huggies. Okay, next is another drugstore product. I got this at Walgreens too. Can you guys tell I spent a good hour in Walgreens shopping? Cause you know, I have a shopping problem for makeup. <laughs> um, Ava Mendez came out with a line, it's called Circa, and not a lot of you guys have known about it. I haven't heard a lot of buzz about it, but I checked it out, and it's actually really good. She did a good job on it. This is the Circa Liquid Foundation. It's called the Circa Color Balance Liquid Foundation. This is $15. They didn't have a ton of colors. It was very much aimed at mid-range. So if you have um, slightly fair to medium skin, great they have a great range of colors but the fair fair skin and the dark skin were left out so i don't have one that works for me this was the lightest color they had this is number one and look how it's and i have a spray tan on and that's i may be able to wear that and it's very peachy so that's the only complaint i have is the color selection isn't very good but the formula is amazing let me show you guys it's a very silicone-y, slick type um, foundation. When you put it on, it's highly pigmented. So it, it feels really nice on the skin. It's very smooth. But once it dries, it dries to a satin finish. So it's not super matte. It's not super dewy. It's right down the middle. It has great coverage. It feels amazing on the skin. I really like this foundation. I haven't got to wear it a ton. So I will do, um, I'll wear it more in the future and I'll put it in a video for you guys so you could see how it performs. But my first impressions are really good. I think it's a great foundation so far. So $15. And then she also has a blush a blush. She has several blushes. This is the one I bought. Number two, Flamenco Beach. It's a really cool kind of bright coral color. Let me show you guys. And it's really smooth. She did a great job. I like the packaging too. Even though it's plastic, it has the see-through um, lid on here so you could see the color inside. But it has like that kind of art deco feel to it. Isn't that really cool? They did a good job on the packaging. So good job, Ava. But it's a beautiful finish to it. Nice corally pink color. Beautiful. She did such a good job. Would I pay for that? Those were $12. So for the amount you get with a compact, not bad at all. So I got that at Walgreens. Um, lastly, I have um, Alex Faction came out with lashes. Hi, Alex. He's a sweetie pie, too. Um, he came out with lashes that are really, really cool. They're in this box like this, and these are $30, so they are a pricey lash. But the thing with these is because they're very sturdy. I don't know if you guys, let me try to get the base on there. See how it has that base? These should last a really long time, so you could peel them off and reuse them several, several times to get your money's worth out of them. If they were, you know, one-time wear, I say it wouldn't be worth that price, but since you can reuse them, I think it is worth it. Um, it comes, um, or it comes, it uh, feels really soft. Let me try to show you guys. They're very thick, fluttery lashes. They're more dramatic ones. So I wouldn't wear these every day, but for the weekends, or if you do a dramatic look, these are gorgeous because they give like a really natural flare out onto the lashes. They're really soft, so they feel real. They're just really nice lashes. So he did such a great job on those. I like the packaging too. It comes in that cute little box here. So it's almost like a little present. You open it up, you're like, oh, I got lashes. <laughs> so good job. Alex I like those a lot again those are $30 um, and I will put the link below for you guys to click on that as to where you can buy those so is that all the stuff I have yes it is so hopefully that helps you guys with your makeup shopping um, have fun with all of that great stuff look in the box below on YouTube and I'll give you a description of everything how much it was and all that great stuff so have fun with your shopping you guys I'll see you next month bye